Okay, in this program, you can see at the top, I've got a structure. This is of a global data type. Uh, we've called it high scores. It's a global structure. It's outside uh, the submain. It's outside any sub-procedure. And as part of the global st structure, I've got two variables. My name and score. So this structure, I've called it high scores. It has my name, which is a string that accepts text i.e. someone's name, Bob, and it's got score, which allows us to enter a number, a numerical score. In the procedure main, I've declared an array called scores, size 3, and I've declared that of data type structure high scores. The structures allow variables to be grouped together to make it easier, especially if you think if we had many more variables under one single structure, such as a customer, such as a supplier, such as a student. There might be several variables and it allows us to keep them in one single structure. All this program does at the moment is populate that array scores. Um, it uses the dot notation, so as a work around the for loop, we know exactly how many times we're going to do the loop, which is why we've got a for loop. We're doing this three times to actually fill the contents of that array. First time round, it'll say please enter name one, so I could enter Bob. It'll please enter a score for Bob. I might enter twenty. Second time round, please enter name two, I could enter Mary. And so on. Let me just test that out. Here you go. Keeping high scores. So we can have Bob. Let's have twenty. Let's have Mary sixty-seven. And third name, let's have one and 56. So it's just populated those scores. What this video is going to show you is how we store that as a binary file. Now we've looked at text files, but binary files work differently. With a binary file, instead of working line by line, we want to take the full structure and just place it inside a file. We can do this using file open mode, just like we did before. We're going to give it a number. I'm going to I'm going to put this into uh, my I'll put it into my N drive. So I'm just going to put this in the N drive. I'm going to call this binary test dot txt. So it's a text file, a comma, and it gives us our open modes. Well, we've used open mode input when we used input from a text file and we used open mode output when we output it to a text file we're going to deal with open mode binary this time okay so that gives us our first line so this is saying we're going to open this file with open mode binary and we're going to call it file 1 now I'm going to use a file put command and in file 1 I'm going to put seconds, here we go. I'm going to put scores into file 1. And I'm going to close file 1. So that has allowed that binary file. I'm going to do it. All done. And the console read line just to show we can see that that works. Okay, so if I run this program now. High scores, let's have Bob. 45. Mary. 67 and 1 let's go for 56 all done ok that's over so now in my end drive if I just have a look here I should be able to see binary test here we go and that is the content of the binary file now binary file contains lots of hidden characters it's not readable unlike a text file but that data is in there. You can see it's got Bob, Mary, it's got Juan. It's taken that data. It's placed it into a file all in one swoop. So that is how we save to a binary file. Now I'm going to alter this program now. I'm going to scrap this for loop. I'm going to scrap this part here. 
And what I'm going to do instead is use file get. I'm going to get the contents of file one. I'm going to put this into scores. So this is the opposite of file put. It's getting that text file and it's putting it into that record structure. I can now close the file. We must always remember to close the file. And let me do a for loop. For index equals 1 to 3. Console right line. Scores. Index dot my name. And as a score of. And scores. Index dot score. Okay, so that's going to go through those three positions, I'll put the name, has a score of, and their score. All done. Read line. Let me just put a extra console right line. So you can see on this program now, we're not actually entering anything, it's going to read the data from that binary file. And there we have it. It's got Bob's, Mary's, and Juan's scores that we saved using the file put. So that is how we use a binary file. And that is an example of how we write and we read a binary file using record structures. Thank you.